A sleepless night for a Largo family after lightning struck their home and started a devastating fire overnight. Yeah, Eagle Late HD flew over the house to get a look at the damage, and you can see all that damage to the roof. A huge hole right in the center of the roof of this enormous home. News Channel 8's Meredith Sansulo joins us live from the home on Shoreline Drive. Meredith, you talked to the homeowners this morning. What do they have to say? I did. I talked to Anthony Compatelli and his wife, Paula. They're staying just across the street with neighbors right now. Uh, Anthony says that Paula and their 12-year-old daughter, they heard the storms roll through last night. They went to bed. And then an hour or so later, his wife heard a noise. She heard some crackling noise from upstairs, like it was raining in the house. So she walked upstairs, and there must have been a fire in the wall upstairs because it was bowing out, like the wall was breathing. Yeah, it turns out the fire was in the walls of the home, and soon after that home was engulfed, as you can see in these photos posted online taken by Robert Avery, there was a massive response by Largo firefighters, but this 6,000-square-foot home was gutted. The family is safe. Like I said, they're staying right across the street, but they're not allowed inside the home just yet. Although Anthony did run in and grab his daughter's backpack, she is still planning to go to school tomorrow, even though all of her uniforms have been destroyed. Now, as soon as the sun comes up, they'll get their first look at what's left of the house. They've lived here for over a decade. Also today, they will be working with their insurance company to try to find housing. The family obviously shaken up this morning, but they are okay. They lived here again with their 12-year-old daughter, their nephew, and their dog. Everyone is going to be okay. And uh, this is sort of interesting. So Paula was FaceTiming with her husband as he rushed back from Orlando, giving him updates, Gene, as their home was burning. Oh, wow. wow. I cannot imagine getting that news, uh, especially while you're out on the road. But like you said, thankfully, they are okay. They got out of there just in time. Meredith, thanks. We'll check back with you.